Hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Youth for Climate Driving Ambition event. This is one of the first world event live, which is organized during the COVID pandemic. I want to thank you all for making this possible. It was difficult, it is difficult. Despite the unprecedentedly difficult time we're living, today we are here, so thank you. I also want to thank the mayor of Milan, Mr. Beppe Sala is here, right on my, on my right, and the Lombardy region for welcoming us in this beautiful city, Milan, and for the possibility to be here today at the MICO, the conference center of Milan. This journey started more than two years ago when Italy took a firm and action-oriented position in favor of young people. We did so by contributing to the organization of the 2019 United Nations Youth Climate Summit in New York in conjunction with the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly, which also led to the subscription of the Kvon Gesh Declaration, was encouraging the involvement of youth in poly policy-making work for the implementation of the Paris Agreement. In June 2019, the government of Italy and the government of the United Kingdom also reached a partnership agreement for the 26th conference of the parties, the COP26, of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So from now on will be UNFCCC. Within this agreement, the government of Italy agreed to organize the preparatory session pre-COP26, as well as a youth event on climate change, titled Youth for Climate, Driving Ambition. This is the event today. It was just the beginning, in fact. Despite the announcement of the postponement of COP26 due to the COVID-19 pandemics, our commitment to write a new chapter for stronger youth engagement and youth empowerment continues to grow. For instance, we have launched the Youth for Climate Live series in collaboration with the Office of the Secretary General's Envoy on Youth and Connect for Climate, to whom I would like to extend my sincere gratitude for their continuous support. Such a preparatory work is synthesized in the four topics of the Youth for Climate, for Climate today. Youth ambition, sustainable recovery, non-state actors engagement, and climate conscious society. All of these themes and related topics are key if you're seriously committed to protect our planet and fight climate change, especially for present and future young generations. To ensure participation, transparency, and inclusiveness, and to support us in the organization of the event, we also have established an advisory committee comprising members from the British and Italian governments, the Lombardy region, the municipality of Milan, the UNFCCC Secretariat, the Office of the UN Secretary General Envoy on Youth, Jan Go, Connect for Climate, and representatives of civil, civil society from Italy and the UK. Concerning the selection process, we received more than 8,700 applications. In selecting, in selecting candidates, we made sure to guarantee geographical representation and to achieve gender balance and inclusion of people identifying themselves as part of marginalized, disadvantaged, and vulnerable groups. Choosing the selected candidates was not an easy task. The quality of the application has been very high, and this gives very good hope for the years and decades to come. And here we are today. You are almost 400 young people from 186 different countries with a great task to accomplish, to develop and propose your own priorities. We want to listen to your ideas, proposals, and recommendations as we need your vision, motivation, and engagement. Let's join forces to show we're not giving up on our planet and our future. You are here for this. But please remember, and I say this, First of all, as a scientist, I was 35 years in science until seven months ago, I was still a scientist in my lab. So I'm provisionally minister, and when I will finish, I will go back to my lab. I, I was working in sustainable materials, material science, and nanotechnology for most of my life. And I said this as a father of three children. So climate change and global social inequalities must be treated together. There is no single solution, in my view. I wish that on top of protesting that is very useful at the moment, you will help us in identifying new visionary solutions. This is what we expect from you guys. So having said this, I officially open the Youth for Climate, Driving Ambition, and wish all you very successful event. <laughs> 